Okay, welcome. My name is Pascal Serraris and today I'm going to show you my hands and what I can do with it. Uh, the main purpose where, uh, which I started uh, is that I had a pump here in this uh, village and I wanted to move the lever but this lever is connected using a hinge so what I wanted to do is something like this where the hinge is still on its place and I can move it up till a limit in both directions but this uh, takes quite some uh, effort uh, to make because uh, in a previous video you can see that picking up things is not very straightforward but I've managed to do it so and now I can put, uh, put up uh, random rigid bodies and pick it up quite easily and put it back again uh, I can even try to move it from one hand to another, see? So that's working quite well. Let's put it that away. Uh, next step was the bucket. It has a handle on top and a number of hinges, which um, yeah, which are connected to each other. So when I move the bucket uh, against some uh, some other object, you can see well, it's not very stable uh, that the hinges are still working very well. So. That was working quite well too. I already showed you the pump. Uh, now we are going to cross the street towards this building, which used to be a, a grocery. Uh, I'm working on that. The shelves are there. But this week I added a door, and this door I wanted to open in the same way. So again, it's a rigid body, and uh, it's connected to it on the left side with the hints. I can move it, of course, using physics. Just push it. Well, as I showed you before, physics is not very good at this, these things. I probably have to adjust some settings. The most important one is I wanted to grab it and open the door again. So again, it's a hinge. And I can open it by moving my hand or even walk back and pull it with me, as you can see. So we move back to the outside again. And that's basically it for today. Oh no, I have this uh, this sticks hanging in the air. Well, that's work in progress right now because this is not just a, a normal hinge joint, but this is a configurable joint. So this is what I'm working on right now. When I pick this up again, then you can see it's just totally disconnected right now. And uh, in fact, what it should do is just put uh, stay in place and move with my hand. So. As you can see, I made quite a lot of progress, uh, but uh, we're st still not there completely yet. So watch this space to see the end result. I can see you. Thank you.